welcome to our Swiss Learning English with Milan sir. Tonight I will discuss six structure on changing of voice that is active to passive and this structure are generally on tenses and modal auxiliaries. Dear guys, we know that the importance of changing of voice is very very important one not only for the spoken English but also for the written purposes. So let's have a look with the first one, you can see on the screen, first one, presence importance. And the passive structure of this tense, uh, you can see on the screen, subject of object, then M is R, then past participle of verb, that is verb 3, then dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subject. And the first example, here you can see, first example, she prepares tea. She prepares tea. And to know that T is considered singular, singular noun. So T is prepared by her. T is prepared by her. Second one you can see. Second example, they play chess. A chess is a name of a game and it is always considered singular noun. So the answer is chess is played by then says is played by then so let's move for the third one you can see third one she annoys me she always annoys me dear guys we know that annoy means to irritate someone to irritate or to disturb someone so she always annoys me and the passive voice of the sentence is i am always annoyed with her I am always annoyed with her. Dear guys, what next structure on past simple tense? You can see on the screen past simple tense. And the structure we have to follow for this tense is subject of object, then was where, then past participle that is verb 3, then dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subject. This is very important one you have to know. Without knowing the structure and without identifying the tense, you can't change into passive. So you have to know about the structure. So let's have a look. The first example, the cat killed the mice. The cat killed the mouse. The cat killed the mouse. And to do that, the plural form of mouse is mouses or mice. Mouses or mice. You have to remember this is important one to know. The plural form of mouse is mouses or mice. So the answer is the mouse was killed by the cat. The mouse was killed by the cat. Hence it is given in the past simple. We have to take here was as auxiliary verb. So the mouse was killed by the cat. Second example, you can see second example. A shari was bought on Eid festival. Sorry, the active form of the sentence is she bought a shari on Eid festival. She bought a shari on Eid festival. So the answer is a shari was bought on Eid festival by her. A shari was bought on Eid festival by her. Next one, you can see next one. Let's have a look on the third one. Mira read a novel last night. Never pronounces at read. The past tense and past participle of read should be pronounced or has to be pronounced as read. So Mira read a novel last night. And the basic form of the sentence is a novel was read last night by Mira. A novel was read last night by Mira. Dear learners, our third structure for today is our present continuous tense that is Present progressive tense. We know that continuous means progressive. 
So the structure we have to follow for distance is subject of object, then to auxiliary verb parameter, then being, then past participle that is verb theory, then dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subject. This is significant one you have to know because this is very very important one for changing of bias. So subject of object, amijar, then being, then past participle, form of verb, that is verb theory, then preposition, then object of subjects. So have a close, close look for the example, that is number one, he is writing an email. He is writing an email. Dear guys, here, we always make mistakes by writing or written. Mind it, writing always take single T and written always take double T. Writing then written. So he is writing an email and its basic form is an email is being written by him. An email is being written by him. Dear learners, you have to mind all the time that in a continuous tense, we have to always use being before past participle form of the verb. So the next example, you can see on the screen, we are playing cricket now. We are playing cricket now. So the answer is, now cricket is being played by us. Cricket is being played Yes. We know that cricket is an exciting game. Cricket is, a, is an exciting game nowadays. So we are playing cricket now. And the basic form of this sentence is now cricket is being played. The third one, third one you can see on the screen, they are helping me greatly. They are helping me greatly. So how can we translate? How can we Change into perspective. I am being helped greatly by them. We have to put the adverb form of the word after the past participle form of the verb. So the answer is I am being great I am being helped greatly by them. Dear learners, our next structure is on past continuous tense. Past continuous tense, that is past progressive tense. And the structure we have to follow for this tense is subject of object, then auxiliary verb was where, then past participle form of verb, that is verb 3, then dot dot dot, then past participle, then dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subjects. Just like as present continuous tense or present progressive tense but only difference for present continuous tense we use am is a but for past continuous tense we have to use was where so subject of object then to was where then being then past participle form of verb that is verb three then dot 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 then preposition then object of subject is the structure so let's move for the first example that you can see first example John was playing the piano John was playing the piano dear learners well we know that piano is an is a musical instrument and here we have used article that before piano John was playing the piano and mind it article that is used before musical instrument before musical instrument article the is used. So John was playing the piano and the correct answer of the sentence is the piano was being played by John. The piano was being played by John. Next one that you can see next one we were singing the national anthem. We were Play, we, we are singing the national anthem. 
And the recipient of the sentence is, the national anthem was being sung by us. The national anthem was being sung by us. Dear viewers, our next one, that is the third one on the screen, you can see, she was digging the holes. She was digging the holes. And the answer is, the holes were being dug by her. The holes were being dug by, by her. Dear learners, our next structure, that is structure number fifth, is on present perfect tense. And the structure we have to follow for present perfect tense is subject of object, then have has, that is auxiliary verb have has, then been, then past participle form of verb, that is verb three, then plus, dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subjects. Dear guys, we have to remember that for perfect tense, we have to use been after auxiliary verb and before past participle form of verb. So subject of object, then have has, then been, then past participle form of verb, that is verb 3, plus dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subjects, is important one you, you have to know. So the first example, have you can see the first example, she has broken the plates. She has broken the plates. And the answer is, you can see the plates have been broken by her. The plates are given in the plural form. So the plates takes plural form of her. So the plates have been broken by her. Second example, you have to follow the second example. They have beaten the thieves. They have beaten the thieves. They have beaten the thieves. And the basic form of this sentence is the thieves have been beaten by them. The thieves have been beaten by them. Third one, you can see third one, the police have arrested the criminal. The police have arrested the criminal. Do you have viewers? Mind it? The police is always considered plural form of noun. So the police takes the plural form of verb have. So the police have arrested the criminal. And if we change it into passive, we can find the answer as the criminal has been arrested by the police. Or you can write the criminal has been arrested. For this case, we have we, we can draw the preposition plus objects. That is by the police. Both answer is right. The criminal has been arrested or the criminal has been arrested by the police. But I think the criminal has been arrested is the better answer for you. Dear learners, our last formula for today is that is on modal auxiliaries. And we know about modal auxiliaries. The structure yeah, we can follow for modal auxiliaries. In changing of voice is subject of object, then modal auxiliary, then B, then past participle form of verb, that is verb 3, then plus, then dot dot dot, then plus, then preposition, then object of subjects. And mind it, here we have to use B after modal auxiliary and before past participle form of verb. So the structure I have repeat again subject of object model of generic, then B, then past participle form of verb, that is verb 3, then dot dot dot, then preposition, then object of subjects. And for example, we can cite some of the examples of model of generic, that is can, could, may, might, will, would, should, ought to, etc. And they can be used both in the active and passive voice. And you have already seen the structure that can be used for changing of voice, especially in the passive voice. So let's move for the first one, the first example that you can see on the screen, we could do the word timely. 
We could do the work timely. Dear learners, here timely, timely means in time. To do anything in time. So we could do the work timely. And the basic form of the sentence is the work could be done timely by us. The work could be done timely by us. Now let's move for the second one. You ought to love your country. You ought to love your country. Here ought to means should. Ought to means should. So you ought to love your country. And the basic form of the sentence is your country ought to be loved. Or your country ought to be loved by you. Both answer is right. But your country ought to be loved. One is better one, I think. So you ought to ought to love your country can be changed as your country ought to be loved. The third one, that is the last one for today. You can see the third one, they might do the work. They might do the work. The work might be done by them. The work might be done by them. Dear learners, no more today. I will come back very soon with a different topic. So no more today. Thank you.